ladies and gentlemen, let's go, it's poppin'. Let me stop, y'all. Y'all probably watching this in the morning like, this bitch so fucking loud, yo. I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm currently driving on my way to see my little babies. I'm on my way to dance class or whatever. And it is snowing. So if you guys hear the windshield wipers, y'all hear the wind, y'all hear my little winker dinker clinker. Clinker, clicker, the, the shit that tells you the direction you're going. My bad. I apologize for the distractions, but I had to get this video. My damn rings keep falling off. I think my finger's getting a little skinty, y'all. Is that possible for your fingers to lose weight? Because my my rings just keep flying off. It's like the third one today. But anyways, I wanted to get this video out the way, and I was like, you know what? What better way to get videos out the way but to drive and do them, right? So today, as you guys see by the title, we're gonna be talking about how my parents essentially found out that I'm a famous YouTuber. Okay, clearly these are not my words. These are my parents' words. And you guys are probably like, how the fuck this whole time your parents ain't know you was a YouTuber or an influencer or anything like that? I think that my parents are just negligent as all hell, okay? We talked about this at length on all my channels. I've dealt with my parents leaving me at gas stations, leaving me home alone by myself at the age of like five, six, um, whatever the case may be, talking about something, you know, just leave the TV on, don't open the door. Um, and it has led to me having a lot of mental health issues. But I will say this past weekend helped me realize that my parents legitimately are the definition of neglectful. Because for them to say that they did not know I had a YouTube channel, until this past weekend was baffling, okay? When I lived in my parents' house, I had a ring light, okay, that my best friend Sunzia bought for me. I had a legitimate Canon T5i, which was that big ass digital DSLR camera, okay? And I would film my videos. That was my first YouTube camera, like first serious one. I had other cameras before that that were smaller, but my first camera, like when I started working at Amazon at two o'clock in the morning, I went there to work to get my first camera, okay? I would film all the time. My parents would open the door like, oh, what are you doing? You look like a crazy person talking to yourself. They really must have thought I had psychological issues and just didn't get me no damn help. Because what the fuck did y'all really think? Y'all really thought I was just sitting there talking to myself? Yes, talking to the camera is essentially talking to yourself, but it is gonna go out to you guys. So I'm not talking to myself. It's just insane. So boom, I'm chilling at my man's house or whatever, and I get a call or whatever from um, my dad. I'm thinking it's important because it was kind of early and my dad never really calls me early. And my dad was on the phone, but then my mom was in the background talking. And they're like, oh, we got some tea to tell you. I'm like, tea? Like, what happened? They're like, oh, it's your uncle. Now, because of all of this that's going on, and because I have too much to tell y'all that cannot be on the regular interwebs, especially now that my parents have found my channels, we're gonna have to take a lot of things to Patreon. Okay, so if you guys do not know, I do have a Patreon. Most expensive tier is $5, cheapest tier is two. We all chop it up. So this uncle is the same uncle that I said that was talking shit with my sister, and that is my dad's brother. He called up my dad, talking about some, oh, I found Ivana's YouTube channel. She has so many followers, like a lot of followers. She's on the road to being a millionaire. Did you guys know she's on YouTube? Like everybody loves Ivana. Ivana has so many fans. Ivana has so many supporters. Sir, you don't even fucking talk to me. Last I checked, you was on my sister's side and you think my sister's better than me and you would say all of this shit, talking about how I'm not as good as I pretend to be. I'm not as good as everyone makes it out to be. Is that not what you said? Yo, I got y'all, like, it, the Patreon finna be lit, y'all. The Patreon, now it's like, yo, I really gotta start putting certain things on Patreon because mm, it's getting a little hot. It's getting a little hot. The North Face is, is, is getting us a little heated. What is you even talking about? I'm like, first of all, I don't know how the fuck he found it. I will say, I've never kept my channel a secret. Um, I've never sat there and put provisions in place and sat there and just like automatically blocked my parents from it. Cause like, I thought they knew I had a channel. When I went to go um, host in Philly, I told them they found my YouTube channel. That is why they decided to book me to host the Philly event. And they also had went to an event where um, I was doing something at my church when I used to sing and stuff. And you know, like people know me from the Haitian community, mainly from my Haitian channel. I remember I told my dad like, yeah, I make a lot of Haitian voodoo type of content. That's why I'm asking you these voodoo based questions. I'm telling you it's neglect at this point. They're just very neglectful. They just don't pay attention. I could have been a damn stripper at this point. They wouldn't know because I'm trying to understand. Like, I'm like, how did you guys not know that I was a YouTuber like I told you guys I went to school for media I told you guys I started a YouTube channel in order to you know make my portfolio a little bit stronger and they're like oh wow like y'all 
my parents sounded like kids in a candy store like they were like oh my god we're so proud of you i will give them that they were super duper proud they were so happy to hear that you know i'm doing well on the internet and i have fans and supporters and subscribers um i will say that i did not tell them i do this full time which i'm sure they're gonna catch wind of it but i do do other things like i am a zoom instructor and i am a dance teacher i'm headed to my dance job right now but i don't need them to know that okay like i have a lot of free time um like because it's funny because a freaking dmx okay that i was talking about last time he would go and tell my parents oh she's lying she doesn't work a job she don't work nowhere she worked for herself she's lying to y'all she's lying to y'all bitch no i am a capricorn and i do not believe in relying on one source of income i don't think i would ever just be an influencer i will always have side jobs there is a couple of points in time where i never had side jobs i just did youtube but it's never lasted more than maybe like six to eight months because i've always been like ooh, let me get this job that looks fun or sometimes like i get to a point where like i stay in the house way too long like i'll have these laps of times where i'm in the house for a straight week and i don't go outside and i'm like that's not healthy i need something to socialize and reach out and like go talk to other human beings because it's not healthy to just be sitting in the house all day doing nothing you know laps of times where yeah i've done nothing um just youtube but i've always had a side job because it's fun and money is fun i like money i'm a Capricorn. what you talking about that's the stereotype okay i'm not all about money but i like money and sometimes i have no problem picking up certain things for extra money why the fuck not right i don't have to but why not so i'm sitting here like just listening to my parents ask me all these millions of questions oh how do you do it so does that mean you're an entrepreneur that means you're a business owner well you need to teach us nigga fuck out of here like teach you what you, now you talk about so you want to be youtubers i'm tired i'm like this is yo i'm like you gonna have to pay for a consultation this is ridiculous like i'm telling you guys like this shit is baffling i'm like my godmother watches my channel my bosses watch my channel like the doctor's office people like my bosses from there they watch my channel like everybody around me i'm like bro my best friend's mom watches my channel and that's my mom's best friend like one of her best friends i'm like bro see that like yo what's good yo see that like I'm like see that watches my channel bro like you're telling me y'all don't know i have a channel like everyone around you watches my channel and you're telling me y'all didn't know i have a channel i'm like i don't know i, I would say that you guys are lying but they were genuinely shocked y'all like they were sitting there like oh what going there oh we didn't know oh my god like yo like uh, but I, again i'm happy that they're proud i'm happy that they're like actually you know excited about it and now they're sitting here watching my videos all day which is kind of cute it does say a lot about how Haitians and just foreign parents measure success because if you're not a doctor and you're not a lawyer um, essentially you're not doing anything important right but it's like it, it should be common sense because usually I could pull up to my parents at any given time it could be 9 a.m. it could be 9 p.m. it could be 2 in the afternoon they do be like, oh, did you have work today? I'd be like, yes, no, later, earlier, left early, came out sick. There do be times when I'm sick and I feel better later and I do pull up there and I didn't do Zumba that day. Or there do be days where I just did Zumba that day. So yeah, I did go to work. So I'm not necessarily lying, but it's just like, I'm not about to tell y'all like, yeah, I filmed six videos today and now I'm here. It's just funny because it's like, I don't know how they didn't, I don't know. I don't know how they didn't know, especially because mad people around them, like their friends watch my videos. Like, it's like, shit, if I was a doctor or a lawyer, I'm very sure you would know. So now they're sitting here parading my damn content to the masses going around saying i'm famous and i'm just like i am far from famous i am just a regular regular girl that makes really decent content that people seem to enjoy like i love you guys so very much and i love you guys for always supporting me and it's very cool to be able to do what i do uh, I have been able to make a living out of it. I have been able to inspire other people, book gigs, book speaking engagements, and things like that. So that is one really great aspect. Never thought about my parents not really being there for it, but like I thought this whole, what's really weird is I thought my parents did support me. Cause there's been people that like, oh, do your parents support your YouTube? And I'm like, yeah, they support me. Cause I thought they did. Now I'm like, okay, maybe I'm dumb and maybe I'm neglectful because how the fuck did I not notice my parents supporting me or not supporting me this whole time? How did I not peep that they would see me filming? So I would assume they see me filming and I'm like, hey, I'm filming for YouTube. Like I would vividly say like, I'm filming for YouTube. And they'd be like, oh, okay. Or they'd be like, ha ha ha, you look crazy filming to yourself. Like they would respond back. So, I mean, it's very interesting. My dad was like, oh, I saw a couple of your videos and you were cursing people out. I guess he saw the videos of me cursing out trans women or the videos that I've reacted to once in a while of people like coming at me first and me reacting to them. So he's like, oh my God, you can't be cursing people out on the internet. That's not good. I, I heard you 
calling someone a bitch. I curse you out on my channel because you talking about. But anyways, I was just like, uh, yeah, uh huh. Like I just ignored him. He's like, yeah, you can't do that. I said, uh huh. He's like, you shouldn't be calling people bitch on the internet. I was like, uh huh. Like that's not good. I said, uh huh. Like I think it, like I am literally 28 years old. Like he was not about to tell me how to conduct business <laughs> and how to talk about people on my channel they was coming for me first i've never just sat there and cursed people out for no reason you need context go watch the full video leave a comment like share subscribe and then come back okay get some merchandise while you're at it join the patreon join the discord and share i wish life was rainbows and butterflies but it isn't okay life ain't a fucking disney movie what do you think this is trying to tell me what the fuck I should do. I was like, yeah, they about to get blocked. I will say, I mean, I don't really care. They can stay on my main channel, but I might have to block them from this channel because this is where I talk all my family personal shit. But to be honest, everything that I've ever really said about my parents or about my family, I have essentially said to everyone's face. Like, I'm the type of person, I don't throw stones and hide hands. Anything that I've said about you, I've said to you or you heard it or whatever. Like, you, you know, it's never been a secret. So that's not really the thing. But there are certain things I do want to talk about or like I want to make full-fledged videos about, but I'm like, yeah, I cannot do this publicly. Especially now that my parents see this shit. They're going to be like, oh, you hurt this person's feelings. You should take it down. And I'm going to be looking at them like, no. And then they're going to be arguing with me. And I don't got time to argue. So like I said, you guys definitely should join the Patreon because the Patreon is going to be elite. I cannot wait for the Patreon to... um kick off with the dedicated video okay I, I got so many videos y'all like because i've been waiting like ever since i did my sister's story i'm like damn i could tell y'all about that but i can't tell y'all about that because ooh, people would be upset well i could tell y'all about that that, that like especially the ricardo from day one i would love to tell you guys about ricardo from day one the stripper stories like whatever like eventually i think i will release these publicly like maybe years from now but right now i got a lot to get off my chest but i can't so of course thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for listening to me ramble and bamble um it's very interesting um to have my haitian parents now support my channel um now every time i see them they're like oh did you drop any videos today and i'm like no oh you're gonna film oh, what's today's video about like it's it's cute because like i never had that type of support I'm, oh, I'm i'm very used to supporting myself i've always been used to supporting myself and being there for myself which is why I'm so hyper independent. I think other people's um, dependency kind of deals with like the lack of parents. But for me, I had my parents. I never not had them. They just always been so neglectful. Um, or they just always been so irresponsible and I was always the parent. It's just different, you know, having them sit there like, oh my God, like, what are you gonna post today? Oh God, I like this video. Oh my God, I like when you speak Creole in this video. That was hilarious. They were like, yo, when you get a little Creole in there and then you go back to English, you give a little French and Spanish. That's what I'm like, yeah, it's just weird. And my parents are like my biggest fan. I should get their ass a fucking t-shirt. You matter with Zelle t-shirt. It's cute, you know, I like it, I guess. Like, I just don't know how to feel. Like, I don't know how to receive the love and the support because i'm freaking 28 now it's been over two decades um so it's just like oh now you want to support me like i don't want to be a dick about it but it's like where your ass was at <laughs> let me stop it though seriously like where your ass is at you know so it, it's it's nice um i i guess i'm going to embrace it you feel me just like i said in my other video it's like my parents are now becoming more emotionally available and it's just like what the fuck do you want like <laughs> i feel like it's like you want something from me that's why you're being so nice to me but it's it's not i'll let you know how that goes again join the patreon okay that's where the exclusive videos are gonna be there's gonna be certain things i'm not gonna be able to talk about i don't know what should i start with should i start with the ricardo story or my uncle story how my mom got arrested i could start with a lot of different things like yeah uh, I, could, I could start with the dmx story how he cut me off for his bitch like, yeah, I got stories. I got stories for days. So let me know which one you want me to start off with because they all going up regardless. Okay, regardless. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so very much. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Make sure you guys join the Patreon, like I said. And of course, make sure you guys check out my other two channels. Everything you need is going to be linked down below. And I'ma see y'all next time. Bye!